so it's a little bit quieter in the dorms right now so i feel like i can i can do this in this video i'm basically just going to be talking about like a very productive 24 hours in like my typical life here at the university of edinburgh for this past week this has been like my second week back or this is now starting with my third week and yeah it's been good it's been very crazy just like meeting a lot of new people putting myself out there again and it's been very busy i went out for burns night which was kind of fun went to a kaylee and i went to one last semester but um i didn't really talk about it but that's uh it's always a fun experience on saturday i was just sort of catching up on work and then sunday i just getting my actual life together again i basically did like a deep clean of my room and it looks so nice now because there was just like weird stuff that was accumulated from last semester. I like redid my little bookshelf over there and it looks really cute. <laughs> Yeah, so basically that afternoon after I tidied, I just like, I went to Tesco to pick up a couple of things and specifically to get more, more hand soap because I was out of like antibacterial soap, which you can't be out of that in these corona times. It did get rained on a little bit, but I was trying to go to the store before it got dark because right now it gets dark at 4.30 p.m., which isn't that bad. It's not, it's not 3.30, but it's definitely something that I, I haven't totally gotten used to because probably the darkest that it ever gets in DC in the winter and like the, the peak of winter in December is like 5 p.m. And so then after I got home, I was responding to messages from you guys and I think I did like a little bit of work for one of my tutorials that was, I guess it was on when it's this coming, it's tomorrow, but I, I did some work for that anyway. I have just started hearing about this in like the last month so much because they made the bus free for if you have your young Scott card for anybody under 22, which I wasn't gonna get mine because I am 22, so I can't get the free bus but i also i found out last week that you get like a discount at like historic sites or like tourism places so i applied for my card yeah then after that it was cold and dark and rainy it was just like a very scottish day and so i sat by my chair in the window which is just, like my favorite place because the radiator is right there and so i just like read there and like the rain was was going it was very very nice <laughs> some updates so if, in case you were you watched my last vlog i was reading catcher in the rye actually i ended up finishing it on the day of the plane and i love this book so much so i have this app that I, I kept getting recommended called likewise it was really good so i it gave me like a list of like other books related to like the catcher in the rye that i could possibly read so i went to like a bunch of different vintage bookstores and i found this one which is H.G. Wells, The Time Machine. And I read this last week. It was very interesting. I'm glad to have read it. I didn't really love it as much as I loved this book, but it's been nice sort of like expanding my horizons. I have found that the vintage bookstores like Tills and then Armchair Books can be a little more expensive. So I went into like another like actual vintage store and I found this Tana French book, which I've read her before, but I got this one for two pounds, which is really excellent. I'm liking it so far, but I'm only like, you know, this much further into it. But yeah, that's what I had going on. I went out for burns tonight on Friday. That was pretty fun. I tried haggis. Took one bite of haggis, maybe two, and that was it. It was weirdly buttery. I don't, I don't know how I felt about it. Okay. Oh, also I posted about this on my Instagram, but <laughs> like a month ago, my mom gave me um, blue light glasses. Like she just ordered a bunch of them for my family, which they actually like have lowered the amount of headaches that I get. So I've been wearing them a lot. She got a pink pair, so I immediately took them and I put them on and I swear to God, like the spirit of a woman named Carla just like entered me. And I just, 
like I am Carla when I put them on and I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, so basically I just had an early night on Sunday because I was waking up for a gym class that I had signed up for, the one that I really like going to. So yeah, I got up early for that, set my alarm and just like, I always make time, make sure I have time to have coffee in there too beforehand because I can't do anything without at least a cup of coffee. But then, so after that, I just, I went for a walk. I went for like a hike up, not even like a, like a hike, there's like a path, but up Arthur's seat, which was, which is always nice. I feel like deeply called out by that like TikTok trend that's like going for like a stupid walk for my mental health. <laughs> One class this semester that is like fully in person that's live lectures i have to go to a, a building three times a week and then i have one class that's completely asynchronous it's all i can just like watch lectures anytime i want finally I have one that is like a live lecture so i have to be online like at a certain point in the day and all my tutorials are in person which is really nice and yeah i just got back from my first marketing tutorial which is uh very interesting i really like my marketing class but yeah i'm so used to doing things online that it's been really nice to have to really have somewhere to go almost every single day of the week which yeah, I mean, last year I had an internship where I went down to an office three days a week, but then the rest of the time I was just at home because it was the pandemic. But so I really haven't had this experience since my last year of college in 2019, which just like seems absolutely crazy. Yeah, that's really it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.